Is it going? Mm -hmm. Hi, everybody. We're going to pop on to do a live tonight for dinner time. Okay, I've got my wok. It's heating up. Turn it up a little bit higher. I have put in two tablespoons of coconut oil. And it's heating up. And if you see my first haul and my and my meal plan, it's the same video together. Today is a uh, stir fry night. So I'm gonna use up some veggies that I have on in the freezer. This was the Normandy blend and it has cauliflower, carrots, broccoli, squash, and zucchini. And have it, I'm going to use that up and then I'm going to put in some more broccoli. I might use the whole thing. Yeah, I'll use the whole thing. Finish it up too. And we're just going to saute, saute, saute these for a couple minutes. Start getting them soft. And I'll walk up a little bit more. These are our vegetables that we chose. You could use any kind of vegetable if you want to in your stir fry. Okay, now while we got the stir babies going, they need a little bit to um, get them thawed out and get them to start um, getting tender. So we're going to work on our rice. And I'm going to use my Tupperware um, microwave rice cooker. I've got two cups of long grain white rice, not the instant stuff. And then we're going to put in um four cups of water to it. Let me get some water. You want two cups of water per one cup of one cup of rice. I put a little pat of butter in there too. Just like one tablespoon of patted butter. I'm just going to sprinkle in a little bit of salt. I'm going to put my little inner lid in. The little pokey things go up. Put on my lid and walk it over the handles. And we're going to go right in the microwave for about um, 16 minutes. And it'll be done. But if you're just using one cup of rice and two cups of water and stuff, it's done in eight minutes. So, pop it in here, put my minutes on, let it go on while we do our other stuff. <clears throat> and that's all you got to do to it. It won't take as long as because I had frozen. Yeah. <clears throat> and then for our meat tonight, we're going to use the Morningstar Farms chicken strips. They're boneless, skinless. That's going to be our our meat tonight. And you wanted to know, can you use any kind of rice in it? Yes, I have done brown rice, white rice, of course, um, jasmine, jasmine's my favorite, and Thai rice. So far, that's one of the rices I tried out. Now, if you do brown rice, it might take another minute or two to get done. So just, you know, start it off and then uh, bring it out and then check it. 
And then if it's not tender enough, put it in for another minute or two. Or three. Because brown rice is real hardy, so it takes a little bit for it to get done. This is an electric block. They wanted to know if you said 16 minutes for the rice or... Yes, 16 minutes. Because I did two cups of rice, four cups of water, one tablespoon of butter, and a sprinkle of salt. 16 minutes. But if you're doing... That's... If you're just doing one cup of rice, two cups of water, one little pat of butter, and a little sprinkle of salt, it'll take eight minutes. Stacy wants to know if spinach would taste good in this dish. I've never had put spinach on a stir fry, but I say I, I'm, a, I'm a spinach lover. And would it taste good in this specific dish, though? Um, I'm not sure with the sauce that we're going to put on that, but I think if you're doing like a soy sauce, rice, wine vinegar, um, sesame oil, and stuff like that, it'd be good. A pinch of salt, red pepper flakes, ginger and garlic, that really good, go good. But we're doing a different kind of sauce. I've been on Pinterest, and I finally picked me a sauce. I came across a um, blog, and she's got, I think, seven different stir-fry sauces. Then there's the traditional soy sauce, ginger, garlic one. So we're going to start off, I, I picked the first one for tonight. For this type of dish but eventually i'm going to try all the sauces that was on the block and this is going to be a um coconut uh <coughs> sweet chili lime sauce that's what this one's going to be shout out to granger i think i'm going to put the lid on my um a little stir fry walk and let them kind of steam a little bit or broccoli and stuff and get them thawed out. <clears throat> and yes, we're vegetarians. Shout now. out to what? Granger. He Hi, Granger. Um, the doctor put me on a vegetarian diet. This is the fourth month we've been on it. Jamie came along with me. I told him, I said, I'll fix you the same thing, but I'll fix me like a different kind of protein. And he said it wasn't fair for him having it. So he just came along with me on this ride. Um, my doctor told me I see him again in March, but last time I seen him was by the, before the holidays, and he told me if I want, if, if my tummy is healed enough, I'm gonna start introducing a little bit of protein here and there, and see which ones do good, and see which ones does bad, and leave the bad ones out completely forever until it heals up real lot. And then, so, um, if you see my grocery haul, I got some shrimp, and I'll make some shrimp this week. We're going to test out shrimp. And I recently had a cheeseburger, and it hurt. It really, really yeah. hurt. Jamie had a meat cheeseburger. Equals pain. Meat equals pain. We know that for sure. Um, and it says, all of the health problems I've had, and as I get older... Your digestion sometimes slows down, and and he said it some it's normal sometimes. So just make sure. Okay, I think that helped a little bit. Okay, now I'm just going to put in our our meat, fake meat. You can get these right in the frozen food aisle of your grocery store. All my grocery stores carry them. So now we're going to kind of get them thawed out a little bit. I'm going to put another tablespoon of coconut oil since we added our fake chicken strips. Give them some yumminess to start stir frying. I hope we're doing good on this live video. Um, if I, you watched the haul video 
I said we're going to start doing a lot of lives. <coughs> and bear with us because we are newbies at the lives. It won't take long for them to little fake chicken strips to fall out. <coughs> okay. What I'm going to do now is open a can of coconut milk. I'm using my Tupperware um, can opener. And it's so neat. You take this and butt this up against your can. Closes its handles. You know it's got a good grip on it. Now you just go around with your handle. And I started selling Tupperware. I've been selling it since spring, so my link's down in the description if anybody wants to go look at stuff. If they're interested in any of the products that I've used today. Okay, once you go all the way around, I think went all the way around. There's a little, like a little beak to you get a hold of the lid. Close your little handles again. Pull that off. You can put that, that right down in the trash. You don't have to touch it. And this makes no sharp edges. You can't cut. Okay. Okay. Let me give me a bowl. I think I'll do it and mix it in a bowl first. And then we put it of coconut milk. And I think I'm going to double her sauce. So we're going to use a, a cup. I'm going to double her sauce recipe. I'm going to put some sweet chili sauce in here. <clears throat> One fourth cup, twice, since we're doubling it. <clears throat> and here are the Tupperware measuring cups I'm using. Uh, they have embossed measurements on the handle so they don't wear off as many times as you wash them in the dishwasher or hand wash them. And, um, Tupperware has a complete, um, measuring system. Um, the only one that I know about, about company that has it. And um, what is a complete measuring system? It has one-fourth, one-third, two-thirds, one-half, three-fourths, and a cup. And same goes with the measuring spoons. They have them boss measurements so they won't wear off. Okay. <clears throat> and then we see. If you're doing just the single batch and the sauce is double in it, it's a half a cup of coconut milk, one fourth cup of sweet chili sauce, <clears throat> sprinkle of red pepper flakes to your taste. I'm going to put a little bit in there. And two tablespoons of soy sauce goes in. And then we need some lime juice. And she says two teaspoons. But we're going to put a little bit more lime. And 
And then there's your sauce. Smells good. And then we're just gonna coat and warm our sauce up. I think I'm also gonna put a little bit of minced garlic in, even though she didn't call for it. I like garlic. The serving size is probably six tablespoons. Um, two cloves of minced garlic I'm going to put in. Yeah, someone asked what the serving size is. We um, the serving size? Six tablespoons I say, maximum. I say this will serve about four big portions. You can get six out of it. We could easily do six, seven of this. Yeah. So, there it is. <coughs> I'm going to <coughs> turn it off now. It'll stay warm. Anthony wants to know if you want him to share this to your Tupperware group. Be wonderful, Anthony. Yes. Um. And so that's done. Now we're just waiting for our rice to get done, and then I will fix up a plate and show you what it looks like. And I'm also going to put some stuff out of the way. We've decided to do more of these live shows because yeah. they seem to be easier for mm -hmm. us to bring you some meal ideas and some. Um, Treats and ditties. Also, you guys try. were saying that you wanted me to try lives for a while, about a year now. So you like life better than ever. So, um, we're just hopping on the bandwagon and doing it like everybody else is doing. <clears throat> my, my house is a real house, real life. No, it's not a um. What was I say? A studio where people just go in and do <laughs> uh, recipes and stuff. It really smells wonderful. I'm dying just to get a spoon and taste the sauce. Ooh, the drops on them shirt. <laughs> that's all right. Ooh, that's good. This just gonna be me and Jamie eating. We'll probably have leftovers for lunch tomorrow. What do you think about that? That is really good. Seasoned perfect. And you could put, you know, I put garlic in it and she didn't put use it. But you can put ginger in here too. Grate you some ginger. Mm. You can get it in a paste in a tube at the grocery store. Squeeze you some in. <clears throat> I like the amount of pepper in it, the chili pepper and the I think extra. It does. I think it needs a little bit more pepper flakes. The extra pepper flakes you added to that sauce made it really good too. Make it your own. Um, salt and pepper if you want it. And someone did mention some extra sugar in here, and the, the sweet chili sauce does have a little bit of extra chili. Has sugar, sugar in mean, it. Just barely any extra sugar in it. But if yours don't, then just put a little pint of sugar. We know the vegetables are sweet, but there's those are natural sugars. That's not cane sugar, and cane sugar is actually what causes diabetes because cane sugar is poison to you. To the human body and okay. to the other subspecies. Now the handles stay a little bit warm, but the rest of it is the subspecies. The handles stay a little slightly warm, but the rest of it is popping hot. You're really supposed to wait a couple minutes before you pull this off, but I'm doing it. And these little pokey things, 
it comes up through here and it bubbles back down. And uh, then here is our rice. We get a fork and start fluffing it up. But if you like yours more dry rice, then um, I cut back like one half cup of water that all of it. We're almost totally painless, Mary, now that we went vegetarian. We have minimal pain in our bodies, but almost totally painless. We've lost a lot of weight also since we went vegetarian. A lot of weight. Okay. I got two plates. Let me get We truly did not know that meat did that to our bodies. I mean, we had no idea. I get some rice. Make me a little well. This is how I do my stir fry. I don't know if anybody else does it the way I do. Get you some of your veggies and your meat. We used to think that... The whole vegan vegetarian movement was to save the animals because they're cute here. and cuddly, but me, uh... meat is painful. Another spoon to see if I can get some of the little, I like to get a little bit of the sauce too. That's what's yummy. And then... some green onions. I'm just going to take kitchen scissors and just cut off some of it. Make it look pretty. And then for a little extra. <clears throat> You're gonna... right. Death is a choice. And we can live as long as we want to. I'm going to cut some lime wedges and then put it on the side in case they wanted to squeeze over some more lime. And if I had some cilantro, I would put that over too. But here's our live stir fry. Our um, ch um, coconut sweet chili lime stir fry. Okay, give me a little rice, dip it in that sauce, get a piece of broccoli. Mmm, so good. <clears throat> That's what we're having in our house at the Potter House for dinner. All right, I'm gonna sign off from this live. Um, I think it's Wednesday. Let me look at the menu. Look at the menu over here. We might come back tomorrow for another live. We're going to do the um, baked sweet potato loaded up with black beans and cheese and all kinds of other goodness and do a salad on the side so i'll come back tomorrow for another live are we all i'm trying to figure out how to save it It'll save it itself. It'll go on it. You hit the X. It'll save it itself. They'll be on YouTube.